Hello. Hi. Ching. Whee! Australia is a proud sporting nation, and every weekend, thousands participate in their chosen field. But what if two men were to compete in all these sports back to back? The Bye Bye Tri Biathlon. 24 sports in one weekend. From casual guys to sport guys, we were ready to sport. First sport, weightlifting. Female weightlifting. To give ourselves half a chance, we were to participate in the women's league, but these girls were good. And so is this cutie. I think her name was Andy and Netta. Hello, honey. Legs. Yes! Oh, yes! That's my girl! <laughs> well, I don't know why she was celebrating, because two red lights means that's a no lift. Hey, honey, please, no, no tears, not on camera. I was distraught, but this bigger girl got the job done, and we moved on to darts with Norma and the South Coast Darts League. We were four and a half hours in, but only up to sport number three. Indoor cricket. It's like cricket, but indoors. But with Andrew and the weekend hustlers, we landed another win. And winners are grinners. Don't do that. Oh, this is exactly how my year 11 formal ended up. Maccas with a toothless girl. It was an early start and off to Sydney for a swimsuit pageant. No, it was actually surf boat racing with the Palm Beach Surf Club. And we were absolutely smashed. Still, we looked bloody good. <laughs> Next, netball with Steve and the NSW girls. I got a goal. And I got a sausage. But together we then failed dismally at fencing before running out for the most intense sporting event of our lives. Year 11 girls softball. <laughs> And I, Hamish Bartholomew Rodriguez Blake, took this opportunity to finally be good at a sport. <laughs> Slight overreaction for beating 16 year old girls? No, I think this is. <laughs> we were nervous about sport number eight. Because the thing about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is it's nothing like your 11 girls softball. I'm against an ultimate fighter, this is horrific. Look at him, he eats babies for breakfast. Look at him, he's terrified. He's like, I think he's crying. Significant losses there, and things are getting worse for Ham. Water polo, it's my nemesis sport. I mean, I'm just going to try not die. I seriously need to hold Or find a helping hand, which you did. <laughs> Bruised and battered, we then had women's Gaelic football to play. I actually look more manly like this than I did in polo, I think. <laughs> yes, and being a non-contact sport, I thought this was an interesting decision from Hamish. <laughs> Hamish was sent off and we'd suffered another loss. Morale was low. I'm beginning to think that you won't make it. Yeah. I know, because I keep saying to you things like, I don't think I'm going to make it. We then had the 4x400 metres. Win it! He did not win. And then a game of rugby league with the Navy Titans. Thank God, they're just really tough sailors. They love to smash people. And boy, did we get smashed. <laughs> we were knackered for Saturday night squash and finished the evening with touch rugby at Sydney University, where we finally had an impact on a game. It's the only sport I've won all day. <laughs> Ass touching. <laughs> a 6 a.m. start to get to Melbourne saw a win in the cycling. Um, against eight year olds. A loss in university rowing with Kathy. A uh, loss at indoor soccer for John and the guys. Then tennis with Colin and Richard. You wouldn't be able to give us just another five or six years to learn tennis, would you? <laughs> ah. Another loss. We lost into school swimming at Roeville. And hockey for Hugh and MCC. Oh. oh, the constant underachieving had really taken its toll. We needed some help, so we traded in the minibus for an ambulance. I'm pale. I don't have a good body. At the end of the day, I'm not a sweater. I would hate to be a sweater. But drawing on everything we'd learned as elite sportsmen and also drawing on a cheeky tank of oxygen, we somehow gathered the strength to play ping pong. Another loss. We did win boomeranging. Yeah, but is that really a sport? Well, these guys thought so. 
we went down swinging in the ice hockey and made our way to the final sport of the weekend. After 52 hours, 23 sports, 18 losses and only five wins, remembering most of those were against juniors, we stepped out onto the court to bring this sucker home. We did win because our team was up by 50 points when we arrived and went out on one of the longest undeserved celebrations of all time.